Now, I know this is YouTube affiliate marketing mastery, right? But you don't just have to use YouTube or affiliate links uh, in affiliate marketing, okay? Something that's very, very similar to affiliate marketing is CPA marketing, okay? And that's cost per acquisition. That's what CPA stands for. So cost per acquisition marketing, okay? And they're very, very similar. In the next lecture specifically, I have a question from a student where I'm actually gonna break that down specifically. So it'll be a lot like the Ask Brian section toward the end of the course where I kind of answer the most frequent student questions. So, you know, I can preemptively kind of attach them and answer them for students like you. Obviously, um, you know, I'm gonna take this one from Ask Brian, I'm gonna post it as the next lecture in this course because it's gonna outline the differences between CPA and affiliate marketing specifically. But all you really need to know, kind of in a nutshell, I'll break it down a little bit more in depth in the next video for you. Um, but all you really need to know is affiliate marketing is you're getting the, you're, you're, you're getting a commission and a referral bonus for recommending a customer to a company's product or service, okay? So if I tell you, hey, this, this, sir, this phone is incredible, this is a bad example, this iPhone is incredible and I have an affiliate link for this iPhone, right? And I get you to sign up and purchase this iPhone through my affiliate link, I get an, a commission for referring that sale, right? Now, on the other hand, for CPA marketing, if Apple, the maker of this iPhone, was to say, you know, we've set up a landing page for you for everybody that you get to submit their email through that landing page, we've identified that maybe they've, you know, gone out and they can convert, you know, two out of every hundred people that sign up, right? So that they've already identified what a potential lead or somebody that signs up their email through the landing page is worth to them, right? And they've identified what they're willing to pay an, a CPA marketer like myself or you, which is very, very similar to affiliate marketing, for that actual lead, right? So that they're still profitable, okay? So in CPA marketing, I'm simply recommending somebody to sign up their email or you know give information to a company and become a lead for a company or a potential customer for that company so that Apple can then send them offers and get them to potentially sign up and pay for an iPhone, right? So the difference is you're referring leads versus a, uh, an actual sale, okay? So with the actual sale, obviously you're going to, an affiliate marketing, you're gonna get paid a lot more because you're already converting the sale. You're giving them the customer, right? You're gonna get paid a lot less with CPA because you're not actually converting a sale yet. You're just referring a potential customer or a lead, so to speak, right? So with CPA, your conversion rates will be a lot higher usually, but your payouts and your commissions will be a lot lower, okay? So those are the benefits and the drawbacks of both CPA and affiliate marketing, like I said, I'll tie it into the next uh, lecture specifically where I answer a student question for you, again, to reiterate and make sure that you understand it. But all you really need to know is you don't just have to use affiliate marketing. You can get away and build your entire business with just affiliate marketing. If you wanna ignore CPA marketing, that's totally fine, right? But you don't just have to stop there. You can also add CPA marketing to your metaphorical tool belt, right? and make more money referring CPA marketing leads, or CPA marketing um, links and stuff like that in your descriptions as well. Just kind of give yourself another metaphorical tool in your you know, marketing tool belt. So I hope that that helps. Obviously in the next lecture, we're gonna tie in specifically what the differences are again, and then I'll recommend you my top 10 CPA networks in the next lecture after that.